Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I learned something tonight that you can crop with the shape tool. And what I like about it, the only way to crop something, and you when you're cropping something, you have to make sure you're selected on that item. But let's say I want this delta patch cropped out. Well, I can only crop it with the crop tool, but then you could take the shape tool. Let's back up here. And you can conform it to another shape. Whatever shape you want with the shape tool. I've already done it over here. I'm just going to reproduce this real quick. Hopefully it won't take very long. But I'm using the shape tool. And I'm going to move this down. And this would be, I think, very beneficial if you were, and I'm going to, now I'm going to turn all these into a curve. That way I can grab this middle and kind of conform to my, and then put that back where it was. If you had a complicated picture that you needed just to trace something out of, and it had a bunch of garbage in it, around it in different shapes, this would help you trace it, or it would help Corel trace it. I'm going to turn these into a curve now. I'm right-clicking my mouse, and then I can convert things to curves. But if you had to trace something, and there was a lot of garbage or interference in the original photograph, and if you were going to do this, you'd actually get a little bit closer than I'm getting it. And our, if this would be something you didn't want that customer seeing that other part of the logo, it was somebody else's, it was, uh, you did it, done it for somebody else, you didn't want the customer seeing it. You could show them what this patch would look like on this wood and use it for something else. But it would also help you if you let Corel trace it out, if it was a detailed logo or a problem. Because what's cool about this, it's cropped everything away. There's nothing left. I'm going to put put a yellow background so you can see that there's no, no white hidden. So that's called cropping with the shape tool. Not too many people are going to use that, but I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.